My daughter, uh, this issue of New Year Festival, you know, since the death of our king, we cannot do New Year Festival without a king. And besides, there are no, no, no elders in the community. All the, almost all the elders have died. The elders left in the community is only myself, my brother, and only in Chia and Sequel. So without the king, we cannot do any New Year Festival. So that is why I cannot tell you when the New Year Festival will be. Beloved family, let us leave this issue of friendship for now. Our gods are wise gods. They will choose a king when they want. So let us not choose for them. So let us discuss another vital issue for the family. Let the gods decide and choose the kings when they want. That is it. You see? Okay, Papa, if you say so. Yes, ma'am. So, how many of my Obiora! Obiora! Who is that shouting my name? What's your problem? Obiora! How many times did I warn you not to step your leg on that land at Munya? <laughs> hey, I thought you came with a good news. I don't know that you, you just came here to back. Good news, Pabo Geban! Good news, Pabo Geban! When you finish backing like a dog, you can go to your house. I don't have time for you. After you might have back. Obiora! You can go to your house. Obi oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. I am talking and you're walking out of me. Obi, you're walking out of me. Don't worry, we shall see. We shall see. Beloved daughter, your observation is very, very correct. But since the death of my brother's wife, you have turned a new person, a different person entirely. I'm not hiding anything from you. But do you know that your uncle went to the extent of accusing me of killing his wife? But our course knows that my answer is. I have not any evil thought against you and your family. So that's why we have turned a different person in there. Okay. This is very serious. But Papa, you have to be very careful with that, your brother. So that he won't go extra mind of how many you want him. And we don't want anything to happen to you. My beloved daughter, don't fear. Hmm? Clear conscience is my position. My hands are clean. He cannot harm me. I will always be protect me. Because I have never harmed him. I have never thought, have any evil thought against him and his family. He cannot harm me. Hmm? 
Don't bother my daughter. Uh, we are my <laughs> Let me go and check over one family. Okay. Where have your mother gone to? Uh, she went to the farm. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Alright. So, this is how I am going to fold my arms and watch this fool take over everything. And maybe soon, his wife will finally give birth to a male child. And that will be my end. To fear what? I won't allow such to happen. Instead, I will. I will. I will. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Remember asking you to see that one. <laughs> My brother, I do not come from here for any more trouble. As a matter of fact, I have talked over everything. And I've discovered that I have caused you so much problem to family. I'm here to say I am very sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me for everything I've done. I don't know why the devil is coming between us. You are my elder brother. You've seen him for many years. You're supposed to pay that respect to his respect is due. Thank you very much for your forgiveness. Um, uh, the Kanibu Adi. I'm sure you will respond this time. Where, wherever you are, Obiora, die! I command you, die! Die! <laughs> Go and rest. Go and rest. <laughs> 